Okay, best friends, so coming in at number one, how to stop being a pick me and finally get the love you deserve. I cannot stress this enough. Please, ladies, please do not do this. And number one is, wrote this down, stop begging to be loved correctly. Sis, what do you mean stop begging to be loved correctly? For example, if you've been talking to your boyfriend or somebody you're dating and they really got you messed up and you're so hurt and you really want them to understand how hurt you are, so you go ahead and you, you know, you go ahead late at night, loving hip hop in the background. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. I'm trying to paint the scenario for you. And you're so hurt. Maybe you got a little shot of Casamigos in you. So now you really got the courage to say what you want to say. So you send him a long paragraph. You cursing him out and telling him everything and how you feel. And he deserves it too. Ooh, he deserves it because he done got you effed up for so long. And you held it in for so long. And you just tired of it. And you telling him how you feel. I understand why you would want to tell a man how you feel. You should do that. But the thing about it is. When a man don't want you, when a man don't like you like that, you could send him a paragraph, an essay. It don't matter. If he doesn't care about you enough, let, let me just, let me just, let me just break it down to you. If you send a man a paragraph on how you feel, he's going to hit you with the most bare minimum answer ever. He's either going to say, what are you talking about? Even though you just explained to him exactly what he did that got you effed up, he's going to act like he doesn't know. He's going to gaslight you, make it about you. He's going to do two things. He's going to actually, he's going to say what you're talking about, like I said before, or he's going to gaslight you and say, damn, you always chatting. You always mad about something. Oh my God. Like a majority of my exes. I, I feel like I need to go to therapy because there's a lot of unhealed trauma that I deal with behind these examples that I'm telling you ladies because the worst feeling ever is when you try to explain yourself, right? Not even cursing, uh, cursing him out. You try to explain yourself like, babe, when you did this, that really hurt me. Like, you know, don't I don't want you to do it again because that makes me feel like this. If a guy hits you with, damn, you always mad about something or you chatting, you doing too much. Love yourself enough to block him and never talk to this man again. This man does not care about your feelings. He has no regard for you at all. And he doesn't care about you. Ladies, when a man cares about you and he knows you, you have hurt, like he knows you, he knows that you hurt him, you got him messed up. A man that's not gonna play about you, that loves you. Damn, babe, I didn't know you felt that way. All right, well, um, instead of, you know, talking through text, I'm gonna come over or let's go out tomorrow. Let's talk about it. And he's gonna... He's going to apologize to you and you're going to see changed behavior. But all my ladies out there, if you ever, if you ever, let's say you do write a paragraph or whatever, you tell a guy how you feel. If you ever tell a guy how you feel and you feel like you should never said anything at all because like I said, he's gaslighting you. He's making it seem like you're bugging or you always have a problem with something and he keeps doing the same thing over and over. He does not respect you. So I don't care how much you love a man. He can't love, he can't possibly love him, love you the same way you love him if that's the result of when you express yourself. He's just like a brick wall. You can't get nothing through to him. Stay away from guys that you can't get nothing through, through to them. Because it's going to mentally destroy you. It's going to have you question yourself. Like, what is what is the problem? Like, why does it keep happening? Because you're dating the same type of men that has that same emotional unavailability. You deserve more than that, okay? Don't be a pick-me. A pick-me female will know a guy is playing games. He doesn't really care about you because he keeps doing stuff. A pick-me woman is going to continue to write paragraphs, curse him out. He's probably going to say sorry, but it's not even a real sorry just to get back in your panties. And it's going to be like a cycle. You're going to curse him out. He's going to call you. You're going to miss him. So you're going to give in. And then he's going to get you effed up a few days later. Stop that vicious cycle. Know your worth. Stand up. Okay, stand up because I'm telling you, that back and forth toxic shit never lasts. And everything you've been begging this man for, he's going to do it to the next woman. I always tell you guys this. All right, let's move on to number two. How to stop being a pick me and finally get the love you deserve, ladies. Number two is 
This is something I also used to do. I should have never did this because every time I did this, I know this man lost more and more respect for me because he kept doing worse and worse shit. Like, it's crazy. He kept doing worse things. And number two is stop telling men you're done, but then you turn around and you go back to him. I see it's been a trend on TikTok lately and girls think it's so cute. But ha, 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 the joke is not on him. The joke is going to be on you. You see, I saw this girl TikTok. She was like, oh, when you when you finally break up with your dude or you done with him, but then he calls you and tells you, oh, I'm outside. And, and then it was like the next clip, she was like, she took her bag and her keys and like was running out the door, Um, I guess, to say like, what I mean to say is that that's not cute. That's not cute. You look dumb. You look foolish. You might think, you might think like, oh, I just cursed him out. And he's talking about come outside and he's outside. Oh, he can't leave me alone. He can't leave you alone because he can't believe how much he's like, damn. Um, this girl really has no, this girl really has no respect for her herself. She has no boundaries. Um, she caught me talking to another girl. I be doing stuff that she don't like. And all I got to do is um, text her two days later or even that same night, bring her her favorite food, and she's back in my life. Like, wow, that is so... She's such a dummy. And he's going to tell his friends, listen, yo, this girl... She, she, anything I want this girl to do, she's going to do it. I have her wrapped around my fingers. I'm telling you right now, ladies, because I used to be like that when I, I, I be so done... Because I feel like I don't deserve this. I'm a good woman. I don't deserve this. But because I love this man so much, which is why I don't judge y'all. Because I love this man so much. And I just want him to, to do right. By the same time, I, I'm craving his company. I'm craving um, his presence. I just I just tell myself, you know what? I'm going to deal with his ass another day. He want to come over. Come over and let's do what we do. And let me tell you something. Every time I let... A man, one of my exes come back to me after they done wrong and they didn't even offer me a sincere apology or a change behavior and I quickly allowed them back because I really loved them and I wasn't ready to let them go. They end up doing worse things to me, okay? And once again, I will take them back. And the reason why guys are going to continue to do you wrong and continue to do you dirty is because you have weak boundaries or you have no boundaries at all. You may get a little bit upset but he knows your pattern already, okay? This is the thing about men. They know who and where to, they know, they know what type of woman to try, that, to try that to, okay? There's two types of women. There's, there's, the, there's the woman who is, who is um, rooted in her self-love and serious about how a man treats her and lets him know, listen, you do this again, I will never talk to you. And they will literally never talk to them. So them guys know not to pull certain stuff with them. And then there's the other woman with weak boundaries or really don't know her self-worth that takes her man back every single time because he knows how much she loves him. Who cares about love? I'm the type of person, respect is everything. I don't care how much I love a man. I will literally walk away from you if you continue to do things that, that hurt me, all right? Um, I never met a man that I continue to take back and he changed and became the man I always wanted him to be. That's, there's no such thing as that. So it's either he understands your boundaries and he's, you know what I'm saying, he don't play about you or he's playing about you because he doesn't really care for you and he, you're like a, a dime a dozen. He probably have like five other girls he's talking to and he only entertains you because you're probably good for his image. You're pretty. You know, you're good in bed. So he does the bare minimum to, you know, to keep you to where you don't completely cut him off, but he still don't act right. There's something about you that needs to change if a man keep doing that to you. You got to, this is, this is where your boundaries and your standards come in. I didn't always have boundaries and standards, ladies. So that's why I'm, I cannot stress this enough to you to like recognize when a man is playing with you and exit stage left. Stop having people in your life longer than they should have. It's damaging to your self-esteem and it's damaging to your mental health. Okay. And number three, 
how to stop being a pick me and finally get what you deserve. Number three is, it goes with number two. Ladies, if you genuinely feel like the guy that you're dating or your boyfriend, it feels like he's wasting your time. Like he's just wasting his time. He's not applying pressure. There's no effort. Um, he's very inconsistent with how he feels about you. One day he's talking about he really likes you. But for someone who really likes you, he could go the whole day without speaking to you. And you're just over it. Like, even in your spirit, you just feel kind of, you feel like crying every time you talk to him almost. You you feel, you have that overwhelming feeling of sadness that always approaches you when he, when he texts you. Because it's like, damn, I really like this dude, but he's playing with me. He's playing with me. Like, I, I, I'm really not feeling... Um, I'm really not feeling the fact that he's wishy-washy. If you feel that way, you're not bugging. It's not in your head. If you feel that way, that's because that's what it is. So move accordingly. Block him and never speak to him again. Stop letting people waste your time. The minute your time, you feel like your time is being wasted or you're not appreciated or he just not going all out for you like you feel like he should be doing, don't even explain to him what he should be doing. Leave. Because men are not dumb, I promise you. I used to think my, my exes just wasn't romantic. Just don't, like I said in my other video, they were romantic. They, they had it in them. They just didn't do it for me. Not all, but some of them, they just didn't do it for me. No matter how much I thought I was a good woman, they just didn't do it for me. And, you know, I know that's a hard pill to swallow and it's because it's like damn I'm a good woman why is he giving me the bare minimum why is he wasting my time anytime a man has you questioning yourself that's dangerous because he has the power your, his, your confidence your confidence should never lay in a man's hands at all and no man should have to validate you okay if don't no man should ever have to validate you the minute you start thinking why he's treating me like this, mm -mm, you got to go because it has nothing to do with you. Some men, God can get, bring bring them the perfect woman, but they're so used to toxic girls or just ra like just ratchet, raggedy mess that when you come in the scene and you come in their life, they really, they literally don't know how to handle you. They know that you're beautiful. They know that you're a prize, but they also can't give you what you deserve because Maybe they weren't taught. Their mom or their father never told them, yo, son, this is how you should treat a woman. Maybe they don't know. But that's but you're not his mother. And it can be so exhausting to um, constantly tell a man what you need in a relationship for you to be happy. If they don't get it, they will never get it. Just walk away, you know? And let's move on to the fourth and final thing, ladies. How to stop being a pick me and finally get what you deserve. Number four is, even though I said you shouldn't have to explain to a man how to be treated, but sometimes men, they just don't understand women. So you have to be upfront with your feelings. It's okay to come out, to come out and boldly say, I like you a lot, but I feel like you're not doing enough for me. Especially in a black community with black women, we always, every other race get what they deserve. White women, Indian, Asian cultures, they all got a ring on their finger. Majority, 90% of their culture got a ring on their finger. You don't see white dudes having multiple baby mothers and playing with, with women's feelings. Maybe if they don't like you, but for the most part, mostly white couples date to marry, right? I was looking at the statistics and it shows that, you know, um, that white women and Af Asian culture and African culture has the highest marriage rate and they stay married or something like that. I have to go check again. Why aren't black women, why aren't we getting married? It's because we fall for potential. We let especially if you grew up poor like me i grew up poor i grew up not really having much so when the guy didn't do much for me it's like nothing new because 
it was so normalized to me not having nothing. And I just and I realized that the other day when I was having a heart to heart with my sister. And I'm like, damn, that's why I used to accept the bare minimum. Because even my own father never taught me, you know, how a woman should be treated. You know, some fathers will wine and dine their daughters. They will buy their daughters a ring or um, expensive stuff so that when a man comes in their life, they're so used to it that they don't get impressed so easily by going out to dinner. Some women are so, some of us are so impressed by the bare minimum because we always receive the bare minimum. Woo. I never understood why I accepted it until now. I can't believe it. Like, it was just like an epiphany that came in my brain. Paige, that's the reason why. It's because you, you never got it as a child. You never saw it with your mom. You never saw, her, you know, a, um, um, a healthy relationship. I never saw the people around me or in my family, you know, getting getting treated like absolute princesses. I had to learn that I had to... Um, I had to go on that self-love journey alone to figure that out. <sighs> I don't want to cry, but um, yeah. So if you're like me and you want to, you know, finally get the love you deserve, stop putting up with these type of men, stand up for yourself and learn when to, to leave when you're not appreciated. I love you ladies so much. Until next time, Bella game or no game. Mwah.